Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into this webinar briefing. We're going to talk about a little bit of a pattern change to more colder storm systems between March 8th and 12th. This is Alex Tardy, National Weather Service Office in San Diego. All right, it's been pretty active continuing into March. This is the precipitation we saw on Wednesday, March 6th. Most of it occurred during the day. You can see San Diego County was on the southern edge as expected. And the most significant precipitation was across the Northern Inland Empire from about Highway 91 up into the Cajon Pass and Big Bear area, where it was widespread one to two inches with locally over three inches. How are we doing so far? We can see that Southern California really stands out so far through February. We have most of that region one and a half to two times above what they should see on an average year. The storm systems that are going to affect this look like this on today's satellite imagery. Storm coming in from the west is tapping some colder air for Friday, so that'll bring us the lower snow levels. Another storm system comes directly down from the north as pointed with a large arrow there. That's due to arrive sometime on Sunday. It looks like mainly Sunday night and then linger into Monday. And then possibly one more storm system looks to arrive sometime on Tuesday. All these storms will be colder with snowfall in our mountains at least down to 5,000 feet, if not some flakes all the way down to 4,000 feet. Here's what it looks like on the weather map projected for the cold front number one. This will be late Thursday night and Friday morning. This storm system does have colder air as we talked about and it moves through fairly quickly Friday morning. These are the precipitation totals issued as of March 7th. Most places along the coast less than a quarter of an inch, but do note that our eastern mountains from Big Bear down to Mount Laguna, those areas could receive between um, a half inch and an inch of precipitation with most of that being snow. Speaking of snow, here's the latest projection. Ski resort areas around Running Springs and Big Bear, three to six inches. Much less as you go west with only around an inch or two up around Wrightwood. Also note that the San Diego Mountains will get into the snowfall with generally one to three inches above 5,000 feet. So this will affect some of the roadways even in San Diego County on Friday. The heaviest precipitation looks to be Friday morning, tapering off as we go into the evening and lingering the longest across San Diego County. Next storm system is due to arrive late Sunday. It takes a similar path, though it does slow down along the Point Conception, California Bight region of Southwest California. This makes it a little bit more difficult forecast. This is an ensemble, so this is an average of all the weather models shown here. But the general consensus is that this storm track takes it over San Diego into northern Baja. This keeps the best chance of precipitation over San Diego County and also does bring in cold air. Precipitation totals are shown here in green. The darker green shade kind of shows that track. Eastern San Bernardino Mountains with the best precipitation from there down across San Diego County. Generally quarter to half inch, a lot of that occurring Sunday night and Monday, but you can see some of the wettest mountain locations getting over an inch of precipitation from this storm number two. Snowfall for storm number two looks like Sunday night and Monday. Again, this is a cold storm system. So areas from Running Springs to Big Bear, Angeles Oaks area affecting routes 38 and 18 for sure. Looks like anywhere from two to five inches of snow, even a few inches of snow at Big Bear. Uh, only an inch or two of right wood, and we do expect uh, up to three or four inches possible for the wettest locations of San Diego County because of the track of the storm up around Mount Laguna. So snow-covered roadways for sure above 4,000 feet Sunday night into Monday as shown here. Even a little bit of snow down to Julian level. Next storm. Well, this storm is a little bit far out, but it does look like it takes a similar path. It's very fast moving. It doesn't appear that it'll slow down based on this average of all computer models, but nonetheless, looks like the timing will begin on Tuesday and then linger into Wednesday. Precipitation totals, this is just initial precipitation totals for this storm system. It will be a fast moving cold storm, so not a big precipitation producer. 
Uh, generally, quarter to half in the San Diego Riverside Mountains and less than a quarter for the coastal valleys and the immediate coast. Fast moving storm system, but it is cold, so temperatures will be cold, uh, especially as we get into the middle of next week, Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning, and then low snow levels can impact travel again. The long range outlook shows some promises for a drying trend as shown on the left and eventually a warming trend as upper level high pressure builds in. This takes us into the middle of March, so between March 15th and 21. Here's the summary. I'll let you look this over, but bottom line is there are three different cold fronts moving through. Friday's number one, Sunday evening to Monday number two. That one slows down as it approaches. Then the one for Tuesday into early Wednesday it looks like it's fast moving, progressive. Uh, they do bring a potential for the low snow levels as shown here. The heaviest precipitation looks to be Friday morning and Monday. Precipitation rates a tenth to two tenths per hour. Not heavy, uh, so much lighter rain than we saw in February. Snow levels is the main impact of the storm as they're lower. The total precipitation a half inch to an inch um, and that's between two storms the one Friday and the one Sunday night into Monday locally up to two inches in the mountains most coastal cities metro areas valleys a tenth to a quarter uh, I think heaviest in San Diego County where we could see a half inch to three quarters down around the Mexico border as noted here San Diego doing the best for the city areas not much in the deserts and then storm number two generally looks light but again um, it has low snow levels all right thanks for tuning in uh, check out these links on this page here if you like to follow the weather and some of the maps i showed earlier for precipitation totals